RIRS means retrograde intrarenal surgery, means that we have to go against the flow of urine, that is retrograde, means from the urethra to the bladder to the ureter and to the kidney, we put a flexible endoscope and do surgery for stone or renal tumor, that is called RIRS. The RIRS is done to remove the stone from the kidney or tumor from the kidney. So for stone removal, the RIRS use in the stone size up to 2 cm. The RIRS is done by standard method that the guide wires are placed into the ureter up to the kidney. Then there is a plastic excess sheath inserted over the guide wire. Through the excess sheath, the flexible endoscope is placed, which is very small size like maybe 7.5 or 8 or 9 French or maximum is the 10 French size endoscope which goes into the kidney through this excess sheath. Then this flexible scope is having flexion available at the tip in both direction. Maybe it's on the right side it can flex up to 270, left side also it can flex up to 270 and it's rotated by the surgeon so we can see the whole kidney, all the calyces and we can manage almost any stone in the kidney and over and above if there is a small area holding the stone in the kidney, we can cut that small area with the laser to deliver the stone out. The advantages of RIRS are, first of all, is really minimally invasive. We are not puncturing the kidney. We can go to the stone very fast. We can treat any of the stone less than 2 cm size. We can fire the stone with laser. We can retrieve the stone with the basket. We can cut open the narrow space in the kidney very easily because we are going from below. And it will give less pain, less chance of bleeding and less chance of complication. Patient can go home very fast and they can start their normal activity very soon. The limitations of flexible scopes are because of the narrow space and smaller scope size, we cannot remove the large stone fragments. The stone has to be fragmented into very small pieces. So when there is a bigger stone size, there is chance that there will be residual stone. Another is that if there is a bleeding, the vision will be lost very soon. And third is that if we damage the ureter during entry or during the stone management, there may be chance of narrowing of the ureter which can lead to furthermore surgeries. Mm -hmm.